Welcome back to the Crude Project, everyone. Let's get into it. So, Alrighty. what's up, buddy? All right. So, um, recently, a uh -huh. couple of things came across my feed. I like to spend a little bit of time on TikTok, as most of us do. But I found some pretty interesting just things. Just you. Just me. Yeah, just me for the most part. But I found two <laughs> interesting things that I wanted to share with everybody mm -hmm. that covers... Sally Mae student loans uh -huh. and push notifications for your phone. Now, they are not the two same issues. They're yeah. two different things. But both are equally, I think, it's interesting and needs to be talked about. Very. Because one will be coming on the 16th yeah. of December. So, diving a little bit into it, uh, there was an individual. His username on TikTok is, what was it? Oh, Orzums? Orums. Orums. Mm -hmm. O-R-U-M-S. Right. That's, so, yep. he came up with an idea because, obviously, a lot of people in the U.S. are heavily underwater due to student debt. Yes, it kind of is their own because they did take on the chance to go and they wanted to better themselves, but the way the loan works is, is bad. It's bad. And a lot of people just don't know that. They're like, okay, I got to go to school. I got to do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's fine. But this individual now working with it's a whole organization. They the, that the Orums is what they just call themselves now. He came up with an idea for the 30 million Americans mm -hmm. that owe to Sally May, who is one of the largest owners of student debt loans. Everyone buys part of the stock for Sally May. Sally Mae pays out a dividend. Now, that's not the part they're really too worried about. Mm. But this TikTok uh, went viral. It hit like 2 million views. Now, if everyone who bought it collectively sells the stock mm -hmm. on the 16th, that will put a major plummet on the company. Wow. Because now Sally Mae overnight will lose millions maybe even more, maybe billions okay. of dollars, compounding how many people bought it, then sold it. So this isn't going to make your student debts loans immediately go away, but it's going to hurt the company. So Sally Mae is exactly who? Sally Mae is one of the investor companies or financial companies that takes all of a lot, not all, but a large portion of student debt loans okay. right so like when you buy a car yep. or when you buy a house oh well i got my loan through them well they normally sell it to somebody else sally may will buy a lot of these right and now they are making the money off of the interest okay so whatever your interest is usually how all of the financial companies make your money they want you to have interest on things because they make the mm -hmm. money off the interest not really the payment wow okay and this group of people, um, Orums, mm -hmm. right? So they've collectively decided to purposely put a dent on this company's financials? More or less, yeah. So I guess it's... A, I don't know if it's like more or less like a rebellious... I wouldn't say the farthest term is like a terrorism type of deal, right? Right. No, it wouldn't be. More it or less, was more so. I would. I would put it more so of like people are unhappy about how they are handling the student loan debt, right? And basically not giving it too much attention to help everyone who has a debt, a student loan debt, right? But they're spending a lot of money elsewhere. Elsewhere. Hundred billion, yeah, hundred billion plus dollars to other countries, other countries and branded. other organizations. Right. So I think that's where the frustration comes right. from, and this might be a retaliation of that. That's exactly what this right? is supposed to be, because there are people who are very upset that yeah, our government is sending out copious amounts of money to mm -hmm. other countries. That yes, there are horrible things that are happening in other countries. But we also have many Americans who are struggling at a day by day who got a degree that now can't get a job because they can't afford the student debt. 
there are people who are in their 50s still paying off student loans. Yeah. A loan is very much a trap, but it's like a trap you have to fall in for right. a lot of things to become true. A lot right. of people can't just go and buy a house and buy a car out cash. That's something that's going to last them a long time. Of course not, unless you're... Uh, unless you got money already. Un yeah, unless you got, you're got someone who has an inheritance type of money. Right. So this organization is more or less something like that. Because you mm -hmm. remember the GameStop? Yeah. Remember how GameStop worked? That was a, another group of people on Reddit came together and said, we are going to save GameStop. And that's all it was. It, GameStop was, you know, it was like a nostalgic thing. Yeah. And the price of GameStop was so high, and people were betting larger head funds were betting on the short for GameStop. Uh huh. Well, when it started to turn around, and all of these big hedge funds started to lose out millions. Right. They cut the the ability to buy and sell that stock. They uh -huh. bullied people like Robinhood, the the app that you right. can buy stocks and crypto from. Yeah. They told Robinhood, no, stop, or else. It's funny that you mentioned Robinhood, though, because Robinhood in themselves, they don't have a very good reputation. It's not a very good, I guess, um, app that deals with stocks. It, it's, it's, well, especially it doesn't have a good reputation, thing. period. Yeah. A lot of people hit, like dropped them immediately. Yeah, because they just they didn't seem trustworthy. It was it was no different than what a lot of other insider trading happens. Right. And it was just a general public who came together mm -hmm. and actually made it happen. You know, this was during the honestly during the COVID times. I feel like we became as a as a population the most rebellious. We started coming together. We re revamped GameStop. I mean, I think it's probably still struggling. I like that, now. though. I, it was yeah, great. It was great. I feel. That's a common cause, you know? So when more common causes like this happens, I feel like I feel like we need a much... So this is a smaller thing, right? This was a smaller example of a common cause and then having people come together. Right. Because what is happening now? A lot of people can't even go out and talk to their neighbors nowadays because um, that's, what, that's what we've been kind of like pushed towards. Like... You can do everything on your own. Individualism is better than having a, a few group, people, yeah. yeah, group and all this. And that, so it's it's a lot of that, and not a lot of hey, let's put a few heads together and work together. Yeah. So now, things like this, like the GameStop stuff, I find it very very good like I, I it's very good that w people like this. a lot of people make good money off yeah. of it too the helping human, them and yeah, and you help each other right you it was a great collective effort that happened and these people they uh orums they yeah. have their own website um uh -huh. they're take they're taking donations to try and help because i mean they're working with other people i mean this is becoming a big thing it became so large that sally may uh -huh. actually is going to i'm assuming make a counteraction for this so, on the 16th of December, it is supposed to happen. Now, I, after the whole issue with GameStop, I assume they're probably going to try and do the same thing. They're going to cut the idea. They're going to be like, no, you guys can't sell it. We're going to freeze it. We're going to do buyback or paybacks or whatever yeah. or get money from the government. But they're not just going to stop once. Right. It's not the one and done. Say they stop it, they know. They say, okay. All right, we can't do it right now. Once that button is highlighted, we're doing it again. They're going to continuously bulk buy and bulk sell. Keep it and just keep trying to fluctuate and just keep hurting them. Yeah. Over and over and over again. They're going to keep trying dropping it down. Will now, you? will that eventually eliminate? Mm. Excuse me. The student debt? I don't know. I'm mm. not a financial advisor, so I couldn't really tell you. But what I do know mm -hmm. is it is going to hurt the company. There is. And it's saying that Sally Mae knows it and yeah. is going to try and make a retaliation towards it. They know it's going to hurt them. But you know, there's also this, um, the other side of this coin, so to speak. Yeah. Where people are for student loans because of the fact they're like, you know what? No, student loan cancellation is BS because... 
in our times, no one helped us. We had to pay the student loans. True. So that is true. Why do the people of nowadays? Why do they get a break when we back then didn't get a break and we had to pay for our student loan? So everyone else now should also pay for their student loans. Well, they shouldn't get a canceled. What time student. are you talking? Though? I know, I know, and that's we the other. We talked about when like it th- costed like I know exactly <laughs> ten grand to go to school. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> and. It's it's also so those are the arguments like when right. it was ten grand to go to school. Also when houses were ninety thousand a year. Uh, yeah, when everything else was a lot cheaper. True. Um, when inflation wasn't this high. When yeah. price of groceries and everything like, like cost of living was very low. You're talking about that time when people were able to afford to willy nilly pay off yeah. their student loans and also, it wouldn't help them. Wouldn't break their bank all that much. And also we weren't. We didn't shell out a hundred billion dollars then either. Yes, we. So I'm pretty sure well, that's like that was like the nail in the coffin for a lot of people, right? Yeah. Like it was very difficult. We did get the forgiveness for what, like two years, three? How many years has it been now? It's been a long time. It's been With about zero three interest, years. I'm not gonna say or that people haven't had a maybe. chance. Mm-hmm. There's been good chance for people to be able to pay some of this back, right? It's been zero interest for a while, unless you had private loans. Well, they had they. They've put a pause on it. True. So they, That's what I mean. You don't have to make the payments. But it's zero interest. W- yeah. So if you pay, you're paying directly on the principal right now. Yes. But still, you're paying a whole chunk towards student loans when True. everything else Ru- going oh, yeah, on 100%. in your life yeah. it's hard. is it's- hard and you got to pay for that. So do you really have money to spare to be paying chunks towards student loans, right. even if it's... Five dollars, uh, like what yeah. you re- what's really gonna five dollars a month gonna do, right? But yeah, but but the thing is, yeah, when you have a fifty thousand dollar loan or a hundred thousand exactly. dollar loan, two hundred thousand dollar loan, uh, student debt, five dollars a month is not really going to cut it for you if you want to get rid of that loan. Exactly. If you no, want to no, get I rid understand. of that debt, I hundred percent agree. I so uh, you have to put a, a good chunk towards those, hundreds. and you don't really have those hundreds or, or thousands to be putting towards all of that when cost of living, like I mentioned, everything else is so high. Everyone else is struggling. People are losing jobs. Yeah. Uh, Mass layoffs are happening almost every other month or so. You get a news where some company laid off Amazon, Walmart, Target. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. And gaming companies. Yes. And AI is having a huge impact on all of this. And like tech industry is is becoming a lot more reliant on AI and and artificial intelligence, uh, robotics, all of this, where, you know, humans are not going to be all that much uh, needed, I guess. And all these. So their mass layoffs are also happening because of AI and stuff. But we'll dive into AI. Um and it's pros and cons and whatnot on a, in a later date on another uh, episode. But yeah, so... December 16th. December 16th, yeah. Mark this is, this your is... calendar for Sally May. So I feel like it's going to make news. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if it's going to be Who newsworthy knows? or if it's not, if it's just going to be swept under the rug and be like, oh, there's a thing. But it's not it a is, good look. It's it, not a good look for the company. So they might not make a make this a public True. Thing. But it did say it hit like almost it over two and a half million views. But yeah, yeah. Orems, if you guys want to check that out, we'll we'll put a link for their page down below. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you still want to get in on the action, you got a couple of days if we can get this out beforehand. But jump on their stocks. But again, if this falls through in the first time, they got a whole organization. I'm pretty sure they're going to do this over and over. So if you miss the ride on the 16th, there's going to be another chance. Probably, um, most likely. Who knows? Yeah. But the other thing I wanted to dive into, push notifications. Okay, yeah. This one (laughs) caught my attention even more. All right, so this one about push notifications. So those who don't know what push notifications are, whenever you get a message or anything like that and it pops up on the top of your phone, that's a push notification. Like your little banner. Like you get a a text message, boom, little banner of text message pops up. You get a... Notification for an advertisement, boom, little banner drops up on it. That's That's the push notification. So this one came from someone, again, another individual. A lot of people have probably heard of him. I know you guys don't spend much time on TikTok, but Pearlmania500. Love this guy. Mm. Um, He is very knowledgeable in politics. 
He does thorough research. So when I say what he's finding and I have no other evidence, I granted, you should never really do that, but I'm, I'm taking this guy, I'm telling you, he does his due diligence very well. Pearl Mania 500. And just for to cover your butts or so, you never have to take our word for it. Also do your due diligence and research on this, on, on any topic mm. that we talk you can always, go ahead always. And, yeah, go ahead and fact check us, and we might we might be wrong on some of this stuff. So you can go ahead and leave a comment and uh, fact check us if you want on anything that we discuss. Yeah, but Pearl Mania, um, I don't know again where he find he dives through like papers and papers and papers of like uh, official you know hearing political this that, and that. But he came to find the synopsis of foreign governments, right? are subpoenaing mm -hmm. and requesting information from push notifications. Mm -hmm. Now, you hear that and you'll be like, okay. But that is a large amount of information that is being used to surveillance you through your phone. Now, the two companies that are being asked for this information is Google and Apple. Mm. Seventy percent of all phones run off of either Android, and the other is Apple. So that's it. That's it. That that's all of the OS that they have. And so Google and Apple were being subpoenaed for information from push notifications. All of that information is stored in a cloud. So you get an information from an app, like say YouTube. Well, it gets shot to a cloud of various, either one, and then it's sent to your phone. So the information before it ever makes it to your phone is being subpoenaed by foreign governments. We mm -hmm. don't know which. Now, how this was figured out was, I believe it was the secretary... Uh, it was a chairman, uh, so a senator who was a chairman of the Committee of Finance. Right, and I believe it was a senator of Oklahoma, I think mm, it was. I believe so. Ron White, was that Was that who it was? Was it Ron White? I don't remember exactly who it was. We, we, okay, anyways, when we talk about this, we can look this up later. But yeah, any. if you want to look that up real quick while we're... It's the, um, the chairman... One more time? Um, chairman of the Committee of Finance. Yeah, I believe he's, a, he's one of the senators. But he was talking to the... Uh, district attorney or the general mm. attorney general uh, attorney because yeah. they got a tip saying that foreign governments were requesting information from Google and, and Apple. Apple and they were like okay well this guy has clearance right this guy has clearance to do this sort of stuff to right. see it general and attorney of course yeah Ron okay Ron Wyden yeah Ron Wyden Ron Wyden he then sends a letter and was like um can we get more information about this? Mm. Google and Apple collectively said, no, we can't tell you. We have a gag order from the U.S. government or other governments, I believe. U.S. government, he said. The Okay, the U.S. government. The U.S. government has said, a gag order. No, we can't tell you anything about this because we have a gag order. So they cannot publish this. They cannot make it public or share it to any other third parties. This information. Even, <laughs> even the chairman of the committee of finance, who would lit have this sort of clearance to know this information, does not have the ability to know where or what information and why it's going to other governments yeah. for surveillance. Because someone in the government put a gag order yep. on Apple and Google to not share this information that is being shared through push notifications yep. with foreign governments. And we don't, this is also undisclosed, don't know how many other, unless he was able to figure no. this out, how many other foreign governments are requesting all of this information. <laughs> we don't know if the governments were, <laughs> are with, <laughs> have like yeah. good standings of the U.S. We don't know. These governments, it could be, you know, 
We're not in bad state. We're in China. It might just be North our, Korea. Uh, we don't. Yeah, this was on. It was uh, not disclosed, right? That no, if they don't know. It if just it's says foreign adversaries foreign or if it's just the alliance. Yeah. If all these are all the friends of U.S. or if these are all friends and enemies, adversaries, rivals alike. Yeah. I, this was not disclosed. So for all we know, it could be literally... Uh, as so the government claims that China is our number one enemy, Russia is our number our number one enemy, these two co- countries, Iran or whatever, for all we know, they could be the ones pinging Google and Apple requesting all of this information through the push notifications. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's not disclosed which governments, but which foreign governments are as- asking. But how there, many? There is good news. You can turn off your push notifications. Yeah. And... <laughs> I mean, yeah, you <laughs> Whether can. Whether that will really help or not, I don't know. Think about it, though. How many app, how many apps usually nowadays do people have on their phones? And for how many of these apps, like every, there's every single app nowadays has, has push pr- notifications. And people, um, they don't pay too much attention on right. their push notification. They just turn it on. They just turn it on because they like. The, the fact that they will be notified of a message popping through or a, uh, uh, you know, just whatever type of notification for any app, you know, your directions or whatever, yeah. any type. So people are used to that. And what it's, it's also like habits, right? Once you get into a habit of having something, it's hard to get rid of it until True. you put it into practice for a little while. Yeah. And then you will get off of that habit. Yeah. So it's the consistency of having a certain habit for a while. Yeah. So for for people, if you don't want to fall into that trap, I don't know. I mean, maybe try it out for a week or two or three or whatever without turning off all of your notifications for all of your apps and, and see if you can go through with that for a while. It's, it's not a surefire way of security protection. Um, but it's definitely one of the ways, a major way, it seems, that they're grabbing information from people. Yeah. Um, I think it's a good start. Yeah. It's a great it, start. It's, it's definitely a great start. And this is, and we're not saying that this is the only way uh, that, that they're getting information, but this is one of the major ways. And um, if you know anything about security, anything about tech, there is multiple ways yeah. of information theft well the reason the other reason i re- i really wanted to bring it up is so pearl mania also he goes on and states that you know they could grab information from these push notifications like you know maybe body of a text to where it was from locations yeah now when he said locations i was like oh uh-huh that i mean having general locations of a large populace of people yeah i mean if you're gonna have like some sort of again this is all speculation but you know if i just put first perspective not to scare people but a some sort of an attack yeah a oh lot. well i know there's gonna be this many people because there's all these notifications going off where these these locations are set yeah so through push notifications oh i know there's a lot of people here i can i can do that right here yeah but he also then again to give as much credit to Pearl Mania because he did a lot of the legwork for this. And the other reason why I wanted to bring it up is because he said it's probably not going to get a lot of traction because Google mm. pays so much for advertising and the way they, they censor things and they show you what you see and what you don't see that it's probably not going to get shown. That like, oh, Google is holding my own information to other people, but my own government can't figure this out kind mm. of deal. Like, it's going to be very confusing to the population. It's going to seem it's a bad look for them. Yeah. Makes them look very untrustworthy. Yep. So, I don't know. If you do a Google search on it, are you going to be able to find that? Probably not. Yeah. Probably not. But Who knows? I mean, this is all speculation. So, do your due diligence and find out for yourself a little more about this topic and see how much you come across. But, um... Check yeah. out Promania 500 on TikTok a lot of great videos we'll link what we can for these two individuals and the things they've found Mm -hmm. in the description below but uh yeah we just wanted to share that little quick tidbit little yeah i thought it was a i thought it was an interesting piece of information yeah it definitely caught my attention so 
anything like that that catches my attention by a long shot, well, I will, I will definitely share it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe some other people will find it useful. Yeah. So if you find any information over here that we share today, if uh, you got any value from anything that we discussed today, leave us a like, leave us a comment on our YouTube. Click that subscribe button. Go over to our Spotify and leave us a review over there. It will be greatly appreciated. And um, Ant, as always, else? let's see you guys next time. See ya.